Well, Norwest, good morning. Great to be with you. Pete Stedman bringing you our weekly email. You'll see that I'm standing outside our Sky office. That's our school's kids youth ministry office where our pastors uh, at work out of. The reason for that is in a moment, we're going to go in and hear from Vish, our kids pastor, Tim Schooler, our youth pastor, about what they're excited about. We're up to for relaunching all our kids and youth ministries for 2021. Before we get to that, I want to let you know that this Sunday we are launching our community groups for 2021. Community groups, that place where truth meets life. Uh, there are Bible studies at Norwest where together we sit under God's word, encourage one another and pray that we might uh, live the lives that the Lord Jesus would have us live for his glory. Uh, so tomorrow in the weekly email, there's going to be a list that goes out of all the different groups and leaders for each service. Have a look at that. Then on Sunday, sign ups on the deck or next Sunday, if you're in, uh, you can sign up then or simply respond to the email tomorrow at the office. We'll get that and make sure that's all accounted for. You know, community groups are just so important. Uh, we think that uh, most relationships of depth that really uh, matter and happen here at Norwest happen outside the Sunday service. They happen through our community groups by and large. We also know that in 2020, it was those in community groups who really found here at church great support, great encouragement, um, great reminders of God's promises as they met regularly with people, sometimes over Zoom, sometimes face to face, but it really helped them persevere in a very difficult season. 70% uh, of our church sign up for community groups. We trust that uh, you might pray about that uh, this year at Norway. It's very important. Well, let's head in and meet uh, some of our Sky team. Well, Tim Schooler, uh, this is our weekly video that we're doing here. Tim, uh, great to be with you. Thanks so much for all the ministry you do with our youth here. We are indebted to you for that. Uh, what are you working on right now? We are just uh, gearing up for our leader retreat, which is this weekend. So our leaders are gathering. Uh, we've missed each other a bit over summer, so we're getting together to hang out, but um, to prepare for the year of ministry ahead. Okay, and the year of ministry ahead, when does that all kick off for youth? So youth kicks off next Friday. Not this Friday, uh, but next Friday, the last Friday in January is when youth uh, all begins uh, with restart. And, uh, and then discipleship communities on that Sunday. So it's all, it's all ready to go. We sort of feel like 2021 is all ramping up. It's all happening. Look, I know in our family right now, one of the things that we're wrestling with is uh, with four kids all wanting to do different sports on different days and trainings and this and that, trying to work out who does what, but also trying to work out how do we prioritise youth when there are other things that fall on a Friday and all this sort of stuff. Plenty of families wrestle with this at this time of year. Any thoughts or advice on that? Yeah, well, you've got band, you've got sport, you've got church, you've got school stuff starting. How on earth do you try and manage it all, right? And it's tricky, and you're trying to work out what do I uh, want and encourage my child to do? What do I sort of push and insist that they do? How do I, how do I parent a teenager? It's hard. Uh, we just know youth on a Friday, the social communities on a Sunday are so important for laying the foundations for the spiritual health and resilience of our kids and so uh, it's helpful now uh, but it's helpful in the years to come as well and so it's worth the effort um, to make it happen. Uh, recognize sometimes it's a bit of a battle uh, at home. The advice I always give to families is say let's make let's say we're going to commit to term one. If at the end of term one you're not loving it, it's hard, whatever, we can talk about that then. Um, but uh, if we commit to term one, we say we're going to youth for term one, uh, that's a really positive, strong way to start the year. And almost everyone has a year of youth ministry or has a term of youth ministry. Just month month year, yeah. So it's worth doing it. Yeah. Uh, if families want to talk to you about how they're navigating that and whether you can help out at all, have you to take calls? Please. Pick up the phone, uh, call the church number, send me an email. Um, I'm here, Amber's here, Luke's here. There's plenty of people to, to help uh, walk with you as you raise your kids for Jesus and um, yeah, support you in that uh, well, it's a difficult journey at times. Brilliant. Thank you, Tim. Thanks for what you do. Well, let's head this way. Uh, this is the dark, cavernous end of the sky office. Uh, Vish is like a bat in here. He likes the dark. Uh, Vish, great to, to be with you. Uh, what are you excited about? Well, uh, we're excited about to start. And so uh, there's a shape for kids ministry this year. Our teams have met last Saturday. So we prayed, we prepared, and really considered our hearts as we want to know and follow Jesus all the more. And so we're just excited to actually see kids partner with parents, and preach Jesus. Are you planning for kids' ministry with people off-site or on-site or both or everyone back or everyone in lockdown? What have you done all that? Yeah, great question. So uh, there's there's always a plan A, B, C, and potentially a D up our sleeves. And so uh, we are planning for everyone to be on-site at some point, uh, and we just want to start well and being consistent with that. So there'll be some things online, more info about that uh, in the weeks to come. Uh, but we're just excited to be able to preach Jesus and get some consistency, some rhythms, and just start to preach Jesus and build faith. Mm -hmm. so. When's it all kick off? 
Uh, look, Friday, next Friday, so same time as youth, our, our one arbo is going to be kicking off on the 29th. Uh, and so that's from 4 till 5.30. Uh, and then for the following Sunday, the 31st, uh, one kids kicks off. Great. Right, so it's good. Very exciting. So last night I'm sitting on the lounge with Bree watching Big Bash. She loves it. And, <laughs> um, and she said, hey, we haven't received our rego forms yet. I said, funny you ask because they're coming. So Red Joe Forms is really important, not just for kids ministry, but for youth as well. Yeah. Uh, when they're coming out, what would you have us do? Look, the one thing you guys can do, uh, aside from praying, is uh, to Red Joe Kids. So on Thursday, in the weekly email, you'll see one link. And that link, you'll be able to register all your kids for all the various ministry programs that we have running at church that preach Jesus. So uh, the most helpful way we can partner with you to know your kids uh, to be able to partner and really walk together is to do this rego form. It'll take literally a minute or so to be able to pump things through. Uh, but thank you in advance for committing to that. But that is the one thing you can actually do. Thank and if you. they don't do it, they get to speak to you on the phone when you call Absolutely. up. Absolutely. That's fantastic. Angry Vish. Angry Vish. No, 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 no. <laughs> we'll Very good. Thanks, mate. Uh, well, look, can I just say that to Vish and to Tim, we're just so thankful for the way that you guys love our kids here. Uh, I have kids in all of these programs. This year, for the first time, one of my girls is doing the Kids Helper program. Uh, these guys are here to serve us, raise our kids alongside of us, walk with us as we raise our kids for Jesus. Reach out to them anytime. Uh, and to our kids helpers, uh, leaders, to our pastors, we're so thankful for you do. So final thing to leave with you before uh, we wrap up. Um, James brought before you a couple of weeks ago where our December giving landed and it was over budget by two grand, which meant that for 2020, we ended up in our general budget um, 3% under. That's amazing. We're normally 5% under. And in light of COVID, we just see God's great kindness. So I'm so thankful to God for the way he's worked in and through Norwest. But I'm also so thankful to you for the way that you have generously responded and gone above and beyond a number of us in a very difficult season, which has secured gospel ministry here uh, for the year to come. So just on that two things, our building fund giving last year was down 15%. Uh, that's a challenge for us because 2021 is the year when we're making and making decisions and signing contracts and all sorts of things. We need to be very clear on the dollars. So if you got behind in that giving and have every intention of uh, catching that up to the commitments you made, which is how we set that figure, uh, please do that when you're able. If you're not able, no problem, just get in touch. That'd be great as well. Uh, second thing I want to say on this is that um, January is the perfect time to ensure that the amount you pledged for our general giving for ministry and mission here at Norwest um, rolls on. So the fact is, uh, in uh, November, we made commitments that we were going to pledge to give. January is the time that we then go uh, into our electronic banking, if that's how we do it, and make sure that what we're giving is what we said we would. It just stops us getting into a hole early on in the year that we then are trying to fill for the year on. Now, final thing to say, you might be thinking, what's happening with the building project? On December 18, we sent out this newsletter. But December 18, 2020, there was lots going on. That probably got lost by you. If so, no problem. I wrote it and it got lost for me. We're going to attach that to the weekly email tomorrow so you can see what's going on. It's really exciting what's happening in the days, weeks, months to come. Uh, lots to pray about, talk through, and commit to. And we're doing that this year. Uh, so that'll be there tomorrow for you to have a read of. No worries. God bless you all. Uh, can't wait to see you on site online on Sunday. Uh, really looking forward to a fabulous year of ministry here at Norwest in 2021. God bless you all.